I'm out here by the creek searching for the strangest insect you've ever seen. And if I can get one, this will be a long time coming because this insect is something that's been on my radar for a super long time. What we're after is a bizarre creature known as a water scorpion. These are true bugs in the order Hemiptera, and they are absolutely lethal hunters in the aquatic ecosystem. Their bizarre, stick-like appearance and incredibly elusive nature make them quite the special find while out exploring. So I'm headed out into the creek in search of one of these camouflaged phantoms. And I gotta look really closely at the water. These insects are super camouflaged, super camouflaged. They look just like pine needles or little stick-like debris floating there. And that's, that's actually something they use to get their prey. In a stream, the water scorpion is an unparalleled ambush hunter. With its stick-like appearance and those raptorial front claws, any animal unlucky enough to swim into its grasp could be prey. That camouflage allows it to get the jump on its meals, but it can also hide it from potential predators. As I search for this incredible insect, I'm carefully disturbing the surface of the water, hoping that a piece of stick-like debris will begin to move. Is that one? <gasps> it is! Wait. Oh my gosh! That's a water scorpion. This is something I've been looking for for a very long time. This is a nice brown water scorpion, a super, super charismatic predator of an aquatic ecosystem and an absolutely insane looking insect. Look, looks just like a walking stick or something. That is insane. Their name is kind of a trick. These are definitely not scorpions. And in fact, they're not even arachnids, they're insects. They do live in the water though. But they actually get their scorpion name from their body plan. See, they're really slender, but you can see they have these claws out front. They look almost like scorpion claws when they have them splayed out like. What they do is they sit right under the surface of the water with that little tail sticking right up. And believe it or not, this is not a stinger. This is actually a siphon. This is kind of like a, a snorkel of sorts that sticks out from their butt that they use to breathe. What they'll do is they'll sit just drifting along with the current, with those, those claws spread out in front of their face just like this what they'll do is they'll wait for little prey items to drift to them and they'll lash out grab it and venomate it and eat it and these guys might be small and unassuming looking but trust me when i say this insect can pack a wallop these guys are related to the giant water bugs and the toe biters insects that are feared by many people who've been unlucky enough to be bitten by them while wading in a pond or a creek this group of insects that are all collectively referred to as water scorpions have been known to take down small vertebrates, which means that their bite is gonna hurt quite a bit. I let him walk around. He's actually more inclined to just crawl around and even jump off than he is to actually stand and fight. And look at how clumsy they are on dry land. These insects are extremely aquatic, so much so that they are almost completely useless on land and will fall over on their backs and sometimes dry out and die if they can't right themselves. You can say they have pretty much maxed all their stats for the water, though they can fly occasionally. I know people who can find these in droves, but most of the time you encounter them once in a great while and it's a really special encounter when you do. Wow, water scorpion, absolutely amazing. Now the water scorpion is definitely a crazy secret of an aquatic ecosystem, but a woodland stream can pack even more incredible secrets. If you wanna learn more about that, check out this video right here. And until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.